Now, you put on a jacket to go and confront him. Not to confront him, Your Honor, to well, tell him that he was re to reiterate that he was rude again. I think that the word you used before was to confront him to reiterate that he was rude. Right. Confront doesn't always mean physically. I didn't say it was physical. Okay. Keep going. So yeah. I, I walked in the restaurant. The young man was standing inside the door, obviously waiting for his table. He was not walking out the door. I walked up to him. I told him he was rude again. Again, he approached me in my face, backed me out the door. I told him to take his hands off me. He's Just a second. Enough. When he backed you out the door, right. where were his hands? On my body. Where on your body? On my torso. He's, he's leaning over me. This kid stands 6'3". He's leaning over me. He backed me up 10, 15 feet out the door. Okay. I told him again to take his hands off me. At that point, he didn't. He kept coming forward. Okay. I did not punch him. I struck him with a forearm. That's well, how close he was Whether you punched him or not, him. if he put his hands on you first, then he deserved whatever he got. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, of course. Did you put your hands on him is my question. Absolutely not. I'd like to see the police report. Sure. Here's the police report. Okay. Did you have a medical bill, Mr. Shu? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'd like to take a look at it. Sure. Uh, Your Honor, if I could explain the, uh, the bill. Um, as a result of the attack um, and the punch to my face, I was wearing uh, braces at the time. And I know. The police officer noticed a small scratch inside your cheek. Um, actually, I have uh, photos that show the laceration, and the laceration was... I'd like to see it. ...not what I would describe as small. I suppose that depends upon whether it's happened to you or somebody else. Sure. This is your problem, Mr. Pogue. Your problem is it was all over. I read the police report. Have you read it? I have not had a chance to oh, read it. Well, I'd like you to read it. it. There was a person who was there who was a witness who was interviewed by the police because when the police came, of course, your story was that he put his hands on you first. He may have gotten the short end of the stick after a, a confrontation, but he placed his hands on you first. My problem with your behavior, Mr. Pogue, is that you shouldn't have gone back into the restaurant. And not only shouldn't you have gone back into the restaurant, but you went back into the restaurant after changing your clothes, putting on a jacket and a beanie, and a jacket beanie and a toothpick. Your right? Honor, it was December. It was 30 degrees outside. Your wife just told me that the car was five feet away from the restaurant. That's what she just told me. So you didn't have to get all warmed up to go inside five feet. You actually walked into the restaurant it didn't change that much in temperature. If anything, it usually gets warmer during the day. So when you went into the restaurant, it was colder. You went into the restaurant without a jacket. When you went back and dropped your wife off, what you want me to believe is the world stopped turning on the axis the way it usually does. It got colder after brunch. Now, you're a grown man, Mr. Pogue. If somebody calls you rude and you think that they're rude, that comes under the category of sticks and stones will break my bones. You thought that you were going to change his impression of your behavior, calling him rude. Nothing that you would have said to him was going to change. He is very sure of himself. I think his behavior was silly, but your behavior was stupid, and your behavior caused this incident. Judgment your for Honor, the plaintiff was... in the amount of $2,000. We're done. Thank you, Your Honor. All these are excused. They step out. I think the young man learned a valuable lesson that day. I think her decision was excellent. She clearly saw through this, this man's intentions. Look at the man. He stands six three tall. I'm five nine. He came looking for a fight. I'm a grown man. I can take care of myself. He has no excuse to hit someone 